It's a very, very special song, isn't it? It was written and released during a time when the world was changing and, and you were one of the first Western bands to perform in the Soviet bloc. And it, it, was that what inspired you to, to write that song and come up with that song? Yeah, well, it was uh, after all these years of success in 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 the Western world throughout the 80s, you know, when we came to the Soviet Union around 88, we played shows in Leningrad and one year later at the Moscow Movie Peace Festival, you know, it's like we could feel the changes and the Russian kids came to us saying, hey, here's a young generation and a new generation and uh, the time of the Cold War will be over soon. And uh, it was so amazing to see that the Soviet Union in the late 80s, you know, it was a different place like than today. And to play there like like what later turned out to be like a, a Russian Woodstock, you know, with yeah. all those bands from the US and England and uh, Russia. And uh, it was such a very, very touching moment, you know, to play two nights in Lenin Stadium in August uh, 89. And a few months later, the Berlin Wall came down. You know, so the change was in the air and we were just right in the middle of all of it. Absolutely. And in the special box set, there's a, there's a very special version. It was the demo version that you did. It was very stripped back and, and very powerful. And it contains the, the, the now iconic, and there's no other word to put it, the, the whistle that you did. Now, that was very unusual, <laughs> wasn't it, for, for hard rock bands, metal bands at the time, whistling in the song. Uh, where did yeah, that come absolutely. from? Absolutely. It was just, I mean, if I would be a guitar player, you know, like uh, probably I would have come up with some cool riff or, or some, <laughs> yep. something on my guitar, but I was just uh, playing around with my little piano with like a DX7 and uh, it was just playing around with it and this whistle, the lyrics, uh, the melodies, everything came up just because the inspiration for that song and what we went through and what we saw between 88 in Leningrad and one year later in Moscow, uh, it was such a deep inspiration, you know, and I think this is uh, the best way if you write a song and it, it comes uh, from deep inside, you know, and uh, it's not you, you want to write a song about uh, uh, the, the, the Berlin Wall or anything, you know, and you walk for hours and hours, days and days <laughs> to find the right hook line. So this song, it came to me, you know, and uh, the whistle, uh, I thought it's, it's cool because I was thinking about songs like Jealous Guy, John Lennon, you know, or uh, Guns N' Roses, you know, there were, there were bands, they used like the whistle, like, like a, a throwaway kind of thing, you mm -hmm. know, and yeah. with this song, uh, I follow the Moskwa down to Gorky Park. It had this kind of vibe, you know. It just uh, a very personal kind of thing and just a throwaway kind of feel, you know. <laughs> Something like that, you know. <laughs> not too much thinking about. And of course, I, <laughs> I was not thinking about this could be something where later on uh, it was a huge discussion is this cool or is it not, you know? <laughs> and uh, when the record company in America uh, wanted to release that song as a single, you know, the guy called me, the a &R guy called me and said, Klaus, you know, this will be the next single in the US, but we have to take the whistle out, you know? <laughs> no way. <laughs> and I said, no way. <laughs> and uh, so of course we kept it in and became also a hit in the United States. And in England, and we yes. missed the number one slot because of Brian Adams. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody missed number one because of Brian Adams at that time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And later, later on, when I met with Brian, you know, and uh, he was like standing in front of me, was bending over and said, OK, Klaus, come on, you can kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, you've probably been asked a million times, but can you give us a quick blast of the whistle now? A quick whistle. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. It's no big deal. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's phenomenal. It's no big deal. <laughs> and I never thought this would be something where, you know, it's such a, uh, 
it's such a big thing, you know. It, I mean, of course, later on I realized with all the hooks inside that song, this, this song was a hook line in its own, you know, mm -hmm. and it yeah. was a very strong, uh, uh, you would recognize that song immediately, you know, when the song started. And I know being in the studio, uh, when we recorded uh, the Crazy World album, and I know Rudolf and Matthias, our guitar players, they, they tried to come up with something cool, you know, for the intro and for those whistle parts to replace it with some cool guitar <laughs> stuff, you know, but it wouldn't work out. And in the end, they came back and said, you know, we feel also it's a good, it's, it is good the way it is, you know, yeah. and uh, we kept it that way. Fortunately, we did, you know. Mm -hmm. 